Williams, we're going to start off today with a different stretch. So I need you to stand up. Welcome back to music. And we're going to get going. So we're going to make an S shape. So we're going to take our hand, put it over. This hand's going to come underneath. And you see how it kind of looks like it's traveling down our body as an S. So we're going to take that hand and we're going to reach it over and stretch that side. And other way. And reach up high, stretch up tall, and then way down low. And then roll your shoulder backwards, loosening everything up. And forwards. And head to first set. We're going to add one more in today. We're going to take our nose and we're going to face it toward our elbow that's pulling our head over. So we're going to turn our head, place toward that elbow and pull it down. Stretch a little bit different muscle. And you go to the other side. And go to your elbow on that side. And pull it head down. And normal. All right, and breathing in, and out, this time we're going to breathe in, our air is going to fill up, and as we hiss out, it's going to come down, here we go. We're going to breathe in for eight beats. Help me with it. Here we go. Out. Eight. That's a little hard for you to see my hand. I'll try and do it here with one hand. And I'll just use one hand to do the gauge. Here we go. One, two, ready, breathe. Oh. Awesome. Let's do in for four, out for eight. Let's see if we can do that. Ready and go. Can you do in for four, out for 16? Make it a little harder. Here we go. One, two, ready, breathe. That was not a good example for Mr. Week. We are going to breathe in for four and out for 16 with no breaks. Let's try that one more time. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Excellent job. Let's do our voices now. Here we go. Fingers up. Fingers up. Alright, and then let's warm up those voices, ears, and hands. Hello, boys and girls. Girls. Hello, 
Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. Very nice job. Keep up the great work. Get up. We got to get moving. We are going to review our Cesare Ige folk dance that we learned a few weeks ago. Do you remember where this folk song, this folk dance comes from? The Torres Strait Islands, which is kind of between Papua New Guinea and New Zealand. So we're going to review just the moves here and then we'll try it with the movement. So remember we kind of turn to the side and we give a stomp, clap, stomp, clap, both, both, elbow. Good. And it is important as we're doing this, that circular motion, that adds to the movement of the song. So don't just, we don't want to just be clapping like that, but make it a purposeful circular motion. And then that elbow, and you can look fierce if you want when you give that elbow and stomp as well. And then we turn and we do it on this side. Both, both, elbow and stomp. Good. And then after we turn, we go elbow and stomp, elbow and stomp, clap, blow, clap, blow, clap, high, elbow and stomp, elbow and stomp, up and around and down. Good. So remember that trickiest part is when we do our Elbow stomp, elbow stomp, low, low, high, right into an elbow stomp, right? That's tricky to keep that movement going because we skip over a beat and we go right into the next thing. So let's give it a try with the music and see if you remember it. You better be standing up. You can't do this sitting down. getting your blood flowing, getting away from just sitting at that computer screen, and getting moving. Will you please help me figure out which turkey is holding the melody that I'm playing? So each time, I'll play the melody three times, and you will look at the two turkeys and compare them to figure out which melody I'm playing. So things to watch out for are the direction of the notes. Do you hear them going up or down, high or down low? Do you hear repeated notes? That will all help you figure out 
what melody I am playing. So here's our first one. Listen carefully. Here it is again. And one more time. Okay, was that turkey number one or turkey number two? If you said turkey number two, you are correct. Let's sing turkey number two's melody together. Ready, sing. Do, mi, so, mi, so. Great job. Let's check out the next set of melodies. Okay, listen carefully for turkey number one or turkey number two. Here it is again. And one more time. Okay, which melody did you hear, one or two? If you said turkey number one, you are correct. Great job. Let's sing that one together. Ready, sing. Do, re, mi, so, so. Fabulous. Here is our next round of melodies. Which turkey are you hearing? Here it is again. And one more time. Okay, make your choice. Which turkey is it? If you said turkey number one, you are correct. Let's sing that turkey's melody together. Ready, sing. So, me, do, me, so. Great job. So, the difference between those two turkeys, we went the whole way down to do in the middle of the first one. That second one just went so, me, so, me, so. Right? So we didn't get down to dough. Let's check out the next melodies. All right, look at them carefully and listen. Here is number four. Here it is again. One more time. All right, did you hear turkey number one or turkey number two? This one's a little trickier. Yes, turkey number two. Let's sing it together. Ready, sing. Do, re, mi. Do, mi. Great. Here is our next set of melodies. Listen carefully. Here it is again. One more time. All right, these two turkeys only have one note difference. Which one did you hear? If you said turkey number two, you are correct. Good job. Let's sing that one together. Ready, sing. Do, mi, do, so, so. Great work. So the difference was we had the repeated so's at the end. Turkey number one went the whole way up to la. Two more melodies left to go. Let's see what these turkeys are holding and listen carefully. Here it is again. And one more time.
Okay, what do you think? If you said turkey number one, you are correct. Let's sing that together. Ready, sing. Do, re, mi, so, la. Very good. All right, one more set of turkeys to go. Let's see if we can figure it out. Our last round, listening very carefully. They're very similar, just one note difference. Here it is again. Okay, one more time, listen carefully. Which turkey did you hear? If you said turkey number one, you got it. Let's sing it. We start way up on la, here we go. La, so, la, mi, do. And the one difference between those two turkeys was instead of landing on two does like turkey number two, we had a me right before it after that la. Well, great job listening to the melodies and figuring out which one it was and then helping me sing them. Can you please help me figure out the rhythms to some fall themed words? Let's check out the rhythms across the top of the slide. The first one, will you say and clap it with me, says ready, go, toddy, toddy. Good, the red box says, ready, go, toddy, ta. The green box says, ready, go, ta, toddy. And the brown box says, ready, go, ta, ta. Very good. So we're going to be matching the words in the middle to one of those rhythms above. Now, the yellow box makes how many sounds? Four sounds, that's right. The brown box at the end makes how many sounds? Just two, that's correct. But the two in the middle, the red and the green, they each make how many sounds? Yes, they both make three sounds, but the red box says ta di ta which is short, short, long. And the green box says ta ta di which is long, short, short. So you've got to listen carefully to how the syllables of our words move, and then we will match up the correct rhythm. Our first word is autumn. So if we say autumn and tap it out on our hands, which box do you think it matches? Autumn. If you said the brown box, you are correct. Autumn says ta, ta. Great, let's check out our next one. How about falling leaves? Which of the rhythms above says falling leaves? Tap it on your hands with me. Falling leaves. Okay, choose which box it is. If you said the red box, ta di ta, you're correct. Ta di ta and falling leaves sound the same. Okay, mashed potatoes. Which of these boxes above says mashed potatoes? Clap it out on your hands. Make your choice, which box is it? Yes, if you said toddy toddy, you're correct because mashed potatoes makes four sounds just like toddy toddy. Our next words are cool weather. Which of the boxes above says cool weather? Tap it on your hand to find out. Cool weather. Okay, did you make your choice? Let's find out. It was good, ta, toddy. Sounds just like cool weather. Here's our next one. Turkey dinner. Let's clap that one out. Turkey dinner. How many sounds do you think you hear? Okay, make your choice for turkey dinner. If you said the yellow box, toddy, toddy, you're correct. Turkey dinner says toddy, toddy. Great work. Here's the next one. How about harvest time? Harvest time. Which box do you hear? Harvest time. Make your choice. If 
If you said the red box, you are correct. Harvest time says Tari Ta. Good job. Here is the next word. Apple cider. Say and clap it with me. Apple cider. Which box matches apple cider? If you said the yellow box, you are correct because apple cider sounds just like toddy toddy. How about November? November. Which box above matches November? November. If you said the green box, you are correct because November sounds like ta toddy. What about give thanks? Give thanks. Which box do you hear on give thanks? If you said the brown box of ta ta, you are correct because we heard two sounds there. All right, how about Thanksgiving? Which box do you hear for Thanksgiving? If you said the green box, you are correct. Good job. Thanksgiving sounds just like ta toddy. All right, how about turkey? Turkey. Say and clap it with me, turkey. If you said the brown box, ta ta, you are correct, turkey. Great job. All right, how about pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie. Which of the boxes and rhythms do you hear? Pumpkin pie. If you said the red one, ta di ta, you are correct. Good job. Fabulous work helping me figure out all of those rhythms to all of our November and fall themed words. We're going to learn a folk song called Draw a Bucket of Water. And this can be a really fun folk dance, but since we can't do that right now, we're going to be doing something else with it. But the words to the song, you're gonna go, this makes no sense. Well, it does make sense if you know the motions of what the dance would be. But we still wanna use the song, the melody, the rhythms for things that we want to learn this year. So, will you keep a steady beat with me as you listen to our song? Here it is, draw a bucket of water for my lady's daughter. One in the bush and two in the bush and number one pops under. So again, like I said, I don't know why there's people hiding in bushes in the song other than whenever we're doing the motions to the dance, that's when the arms are moving over and under and lots of complicated things like that. But for now, we're just learning our song. So will you please be my echo? Draw a bucket of water. For my lady's daughter. One in the bush and two in the bush. And number one pops under. Very good, being my echo. Now, when it says draw a bucket of water, are we like taking a pa paper and a pencil and we're drawing a bucket of water? No, to draw a bucket of water means to go take your pail, your bucket, and go and fill up the water. Maybe it was in a well because you would draw it up by like pooling up. That's what they, how they said to draw up the rope, to pull up the rope from the well if you were filling it like that. So it was a way to go get water. We don't, we don't have to do that now, right? Like, just, hey, can you go fill up a bucket of water for me? Because we have a faucet and it's really easy. But draw a bucket of water meant to go get it and fill it up. So hopefully you know we're not talking about like doodling a bucket of water as we are singing our song. So again, will you be my echo? Draw a bucket of water for my lady's daughter. One in the bush and two in the bush. And number one pops over. Great. This Will you please help me learn our song by drawing the shape of the notes in the air? I'll show you what I mean. Draw a bucket of water for my lady's daughter. All right, can you help me do that as we sing? 
Here we go. Draw a bucket of water for my lady's daughter. One in the bush and two in the bush and number one pops under. Good. There's no exactly right place for you to have your hands or whatever as long as we're going our highs and lows at the same time. Let's try it again. Here we go. Draw a bucket of water for my lady's daughter. One in the bush and two in the bush and number one pops under. Great, I just want you to feel the shape of that melody. Okay, so let's work on our ostinato and figure out how that's going to fit with our song. Do you remember what an ostinato is? It's a repeated rhythm or melody pattern that we perform during a song. So for example, our ostinato in this song is going to be, read the rhythm with me, taka di mi ta, taka di mi ta. Over and over again, we're going to play that rhythm on our legs. That's our ostinato. It doesn't match up with the song all the time as far as the same rhythm the song makes, but it works with it because it keeps the same beat. So listen and watch. Here it is, draw a bucket of water for my lady's daughter. One in the bush and two in the bush and number one pops under. See how it works? I promise it does, but it's different than what we are singing and that's part of the challenge. Making your brain do two different things at the same time. You're singing a song with one rhythm, but your hands are playing another. It's a challenge, but it's a fun one. So let's get started on our ostinato pattern first before we add in some singing. Here we go. Taka di mi ta, taka di mi ta. Good, keep that pattern up. Don't stop. I'm gonna sing, you just keep playing. Taka di mi ta. Ready? Good, you keep playing, I'll sing. Draw a bucket of water for my lady's daughter. One in the bush and two in the bush and number one pops under. Yeah, were you able to keep that pattern going? Awesome, very, very good. Now switch, this time you can just sing along with me while I play the pattern. Here we go, draw a bucket of water for my lady's daughter. One in the bush and two in the bush and number one pops under. Very nice. Are you ready to try to put it together? Okay, if you think you know the song well enough and you can sing it and play the ostinato with me, it's a great challenge. One, two, here we go. Draw a bucket of water for my lady's daughter. One in the bush and two in the bush and number one pops under. Yeah, you're getting the hang of it. Good, one more try. One more try doing both. One, two, here we go. Draw a bucket of water for my lady's daughter. One in the bush and two in the bush and number one pops under. Fabulous. Okay, that's really challenging. We're going to keep working at it, doing some more and different things with our song as we're learning it too. All right, Bruno, so we have a song today and it's about Scotland. Scotland right here, it's kind of close to the United Kingdom. Uh, Edinburgh is one of the places that we are thinking that the song may be about, but we're not quite for sure. But there's also references to it being a uh, part of England's history as well and having to do with the fire of London. So there are different ideas about this. Uh, and then if we are talking about Scotland, then we're talking about a fire that was in, here in Edinburgh. So we have that right here. Uh, the fire is said to be uh, caused by King Henry VIII of England during one of their invasions, so or one of their attacks. Uh, so that one may be what it's about. There's also talk about it being part of London's history where they had a fire that lasted for five days. So we're not quite sure the exact origin, but there are some different 
some different ideas about where it's coming from. But our song today is called Scotland's Burning. So it's going to start out going, Scotland's burning, Scotland's burning, look out, look out, fire, 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 pour on water, pour on water. And we have some motions that go with this. So I'm going to make my picture a little bit bigger so you can see me a little bit better. So, maybe you can see me better now. Okay, so we're going to go and go, Scotland's burning, Scotland's burning, copper waving someone down. Can you help me with that? Ready, here and go, Scotland's burning, Scotland's burning. Now the next part says we're going to look out, so we need to look out for some help. We want to make sure that nothing falls on us that has fire or anything else. We're going to have Scotland burning, Scotland burning, look out, look out. Now fire, fire, fire. We need to announce it. We don't want anyone getting hurt. So we have fire, 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 fire. So we have Scotland burning, Scotland burning, look out, look out. Fire, 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 fire. Now back in the old days, they didn't have fire trucks. So they would have to go down to streams or wherever they could find water locally and get buckets and fill those with water. So we're going to pretend that we're one of those fire fires that is dumping water onto the fire trying to put it out. So, pour on water, pour on water. Can you help me out with all of it, all the way through? He goes, Scotland burning, Scotland burning, look out, look out, fire, 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 fire. Pour on water, pour on water, Scotland burning, Scotland burning, look out, look out, fire, 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 fire. Pour on water, pour on water. You think you can do that two times through with me this time? Here we go, ready and go. Scotland burning, Scotland burning, look out, look out, fire, 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 fire. Pour on water, pour on water, Scotland burning, Scotland burning, look out, look out, fire, 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 fire. Pour on water, pour on water. Next time when we're working on this song, we might even add a cannon to it, maybe with ourselves. It might be kind of hard. I wonder how we can do it. See if you can figure that out this week. All right, I'll see you next time. Please be sure to complete the required check-in in Schoology after this lesson. It's a blue link on the side. Have a great week!